Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today is Wednesday, November 18th. A really nice green day today, plus $1,833 and done uh, by, by about 10.30 a.m. Uh, I took four Mighty 90 trades, all of which were winners. So we had the Microsoft. This was actually two different trades, uh, plus 11.20 just on Microsoft. So really nice price action today. Uh, Facebook, basically a scratch, small winner. BABA plus 116 and Boeing plus 100 on a, just a small trade. And then just took one runner and that was in Tesla for 480. So total 18 to 33 on the day. Let's break these down, uh, starting with Tesla. I mean, look at this. So had this initial push up, just started consolidating. We got long about right in here, sat through some chop for a little bit. And then this thing just exploded. I took uh, my half off for uh, about a 12 to 15% profit right there. Held the other one uh, up to this point right here. Did not catch the remaining piece of this, so that had been a monster. Uh, but Tesla, obviously, with the inclusion in the S&P 500, looks like it's heat-seeking for uh, new all-time highs, which is right above that 500 level. Didn't necessarily think it would get it today, but it might. Uh, so nice nice run in Tesla. And, and also, this is another reminder of why we don't take the the mighty 90 setup after 10 a.m. because things like this can happen where, I mean, you know, if you'd have tried to get short Tesla here on this, you know, pop in volume on this price push, you got you got your head ripped off. Even if you held it up to this pivot, I mean, it pushed way above that pivot. So that's why this strategy is, is the mighty 90 you want to use uh, before 10 a.m. And then that's exactly why we use this runner strategy. Uh, after the fact, because then you get these sometimes these grinds or in this case, just explosion higher uh, in Tesla. And, and so you can capture that. So that's the runner in Tesla. Let's take a look at Microsoft, which was, we had a couple of mighty 90 winners in uh, to start the day. Uh, had this initial push up, had higher volume. We got short right here and rode this thing down for a nice profit. And then on the other side, when this thing kept pushing down, uh, had a higher volume spike right there. We got long right there and it caught this bounce back up to the pivot. So two quick, really nice trades in Microsoft. In Facebook, uh, we tried to, so we had this flush down, had this little vol volume spike, got long right here and it just started to kind of grind up. So we just, we took a small profit there and got out uh, with basically a scratch trade. In Alibaba, another mighty 90. I didn't really have a volume spike, but had a couple uh, a couple higher volume bars in a row with this price push down. So we got long and caught a little bounce up in BABA. I was actually looking to add to this if it got closer down to this pivot, but never quite got there. So we booked a small profit. And then lastly in Boeing, uh, I was looking for a little bit more of a price push lower. So I just got in with a tiny, it's just a couple contracts here and caught this little bounce. I was wanting it to get down here before I really sized up on my position. Never got there, but still booked a little winner. So all in all, four Mighty 90 trades, all four winners, and then one runner in Tesla, which is also a winner. So all winners, no losers today. Beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful price action. Uh, and uh, and so good, good, uh, good day going in towards the end of the week. So today's Wednesday. We'll be streaming live Thursday tomorrow at the open, and then we will be offline on Friday. Also, next week is Thanksgiving week. Make sure you keep your eye on the calendar in the live stream room. We'll be uh, we'll be streaming live Monday and Tuesday next week, uh, but off for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday over the uh, over the holiday. So. Look forward to seeing you all there. Uh, have a great day. Stay safe, and we'll see you here tomorrow.